Why were you interested in politics? As long as it is something that helps people, I'm all for it. I do not deny the fact that I was a potential candidate for the ruling party. In 2015? Right? In 2015. And of course, uh, I, I got pulled out, you know, due to personal reasons. Why not tell us what happened exactly? This is the first time I'm going to reveal it. Like, from what I gathered, there were concerns on the ground as to my image. My professional image is in like, I mean, of course, there are a lot of people by now, they have accepted me for who I am and the way I look. You know, I spotted tattoos, long hair, you know. Mm -hmm. But I think there are still a conservative lot out there. The, the physical outlook, mm -hmm. you know, the mannerism, you know, um, how I'm very straight with my words, you know, or, or, or even like my financial status, or maybe, um, you know, my past records, you know, my admission to the fact that, you know, I was prone to criminality. You know, whether, you know, maybe during national service as well. And what about the fact that you turned your life around in spite of the fact that, yes, you committed certain questionable actions in the past? Well, I think there are, there are, I'm not the only one. There are so many people like me, or even better. I mean, they have turned their life around uh, even more, you know. Mm. And they have done great things for the society. I was disappointed because, make no mistakes about it, I was approached. I was approached, you know, to, to join politics. I started out with my heart ruling myself out totally from politics. Why? Because of the way I look, because of my past. Yeah. I never once think that a person like me deserve a chance in upper society, mm. right? Or in the grand scheme of things. I just want to use whatever legal knowledge I possess to help people in my own little ways. Mm. But the fact remains is that I was first, I was first approached. Yeah. Alright? So, I was told that, you know, hey, why not join politics and you can effect changes at the, at the highest level, right? Mm. Policies, you know, and all that. And, and I thought, yes, you know, why not, right? If I, can, uh, if I can save millions, you know, through a good policy, why not? Mm. Mm. Right? So, so I got involved and I got interested, you know, interview after interview, tea session after tea session. And, you know, at the end, I was deployed, you know, I was working the ground hard. You know, and it all came to nothing. So you didn't voluntarily withdraw due to personal reasons? No. They told you to, to withdraw? The party, of, yeah, course. of course. Yeah, Say that, you know, yeah, perhaps another time then. So hopefully the time comes. Huh? So you still want to join politics in spite of the fact that you were judged in this manner? Well, I think, I think the whole idea about my story, right, what is really, if you ask me, inspirational about the whole thing is... I didn't stop for anything. I just keep forging ahead, regardless of how many crises I met. Mm. And same thing for politics. I mean, to say that I do not have any political inclination is a lie. Why do you have political inclinations? For me, it's really, well, especially in the Singapore context, right? I mean, at least. Um, to me, politics is important. You know, the politics in Singapore is, is that of a servant leadership model, right? I've been serving the people, mm. right? in my line of work, fortunately, you know, so I have a consistent track record and I feel that if I can do this at a policy level, it would have been great because I really understand what's happening on the ground because I'm on the ground every day with the people. So the day whereby I solve all these problems when I'm truly free and that is where I'll know whether this stands true. Your physical self, would you consider in the future modifying that for just to get into politics? I wouldn't. I've expressed this before to the powers that be there. For me, I've been looking the way I am because, you know, it's not, it's not just for publicity, but it's because I, there's a need for me to embrace my past, a past which I cannot change. And it's also a daily reminder of where I came from, all right? And if I'm going to remove all this, my tattoos, my hairstyle, just because I want to get into politics, there's an element of hypocrisy to this, mm. right? The public, in fact, the electorate will think that, look, okay, this guy is bending backwards, you know? He used to be so upright, you know, he's fighting for the underclass, but right now, because he wants to join politics with the ruling party, he's changing. And I feel that such a message doesn't go down well, not just with the people, but even with myself.